In a certain store, the regular price of a refrigerator is $600. How much money is saved by buying this refrigerator at 20% off the regular price rather than buying it on sale at 10% off the regular price with an additional discount of 10% off the sale price? You could do it this way. You could say we're taking 600 and we're losing 20%. 20% is the same as 0.2. If you multiply 0.2 times 600, you get 120, and you subtract that from 600, and you get 480. However, the shortcut works no matter what you're subtracting 20% from. So if you're starting with anything, we'll just call that x, and you're subtracting 20% of x, then you're doing x minus 0.2x, which leaves you with 0.8x. You're starting with 1x, and you're subtracting 0.2x, so 1 minus 0.2 is 0.8, and you get 0.8x. But that just tells you all you have to do is really just multiply it by 0.8. And if you do 0.8 times 600 on a calculator, you'll notice it's 4. So you get your answer a lot quicker by just multiplying 600 by 0.8. You're losing 20%, so you're left with 80%, and then you multiply by 0.8. But what if you bought it on sale at 10% off? Well, then you would only be left with 90%, so you would multiply by 0.9. And that's everything in blue, right? And then what if there was an additional discount of 10% off that, off that sale price? Well, then you would multiply that by 0.9. And you could put all this into a calculator, and you would get 46 for the first part and 40 for the second part. But you don't even have to do each part individually. You could just put it all in exactly like this on your TI-84 or whatever you have, and you'll get 6. So you'll save $6. And you might wonder, how come it didn't work out to be the same? Because shouldn't 10% plus 10% be equal to 20%? Well, the second time you were doing a 10% discount, it was of a smaller price so you weren't getting as much of a discount.